Bismillah rahman rahim In this video, I will be creating a 2D AutoCAD drawing of a propeller propulsion system. This system used in ships, submarines, boats, and sometimes even in aircraft, where it helps in producing thrust to move forward. The propeller works on a simple principle. It pushes water or air backward using rotating blades, and due to Newton's third law of motion, the vessel move forward with equal reaction force. Now many people confuse between propeller and impeller. The difference is simple. Propeller push the fluid backward water or air to create forward thrust. It works in an open environment like water around a ship or air around an aircraft to produce thrust. While impeller pulls in fluid at the center and then accelerate it outward by centrifugal force. It works in closed environment like pumps, compressors or turbines. In our drawing, we will focus on the propeller propulsion system. This drawing is prepared purely for educational and practice purposes only, not for manufacturing use. All dimensions are in millimeters. If you are a student, AutoCAD learner, or someone interested in engineering and design, this tutorial will be very helpful for you. So stay with me till the end and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's start. So, first, I will draw these circles. The diameter of this circle is 308, the diameter of this circle is 196, the diameter of this circle is 658, and the diameter of this circle is 820. Let's draw it. So first I will set unit, press UN for unit, then click on inches arrow, drop down to millimeters, click on OK, then click on circle arrow, center diameter, make a circle of 196 mm diameter. Again, click on circle arrow, center diameter. At the same center point, make a circle of 308 mm diameter. Again, click on circle, make a circle of 658 mm diameter. Again, click on circle, make a circle of 820 mm diameter with the same center point. Now, I will draw this line. In AutoCAD, usually when we draw any line to an angle, so it measures from this horizontal line. So this is reference line. So I have to calculate degree between this line and this line, this degree. As already the degree between this line and this line is given, which is 70. So if, if I subtract 70 from 180, it becomes 1, 1, 10. So the degree between this line and this line is 1, 1, 10. Let's write, click on line, click on the center point. Make sure that the line passes these two circles. Press tab for degree, enter 1110, press enter, press escape. Now I will draw this circle. So for this first I will locate its center point. First I will erase the ink to see it clearly. As the center point is here, so the length of this line is given. 2 to 5 mm and the radius of this circle is also 2 to 5 mm and if we see this line so the degree between this line and this horizontal line is 15 degree given and it is drawn from this intersection point so let's write click on line click on this intersection point enter 2 to 5 and then press tab for degree enter degree 15 press enter press escape now click on circle arrow, center radius, click on this in point of line, make a circle of 2 to 5 mm radius. Now I will draw this portion. So if I see this drawing, so it is a straight line intersecting with this point and this point. Let's draw it. So first I will trim the unnecessary portion, press TR, double enter. Press escape. Now click on line, click on this intersection point, and click on this in point of line. Press escape. Now select these lines and erase it. Now I will draw this arc. So for this, first I will locate this intersection point and this intersection point. If we see here from this vertical line, this distance is given 90 mm. And if we see to this intersection point, so this distance is also given 78 mm. Let's draw it, then you guys will understand it clearly. So first I will draw a vertical line, click on line, make a vertical line of any length, but make sure that the line passes all the circles. 
Chris is cap. Now again click on line, click on this intersection point, make a line of 90 mm towards right side, press enter, then make a downward line of any length but make sure that the line passes this circle. Chris is cap, then repeat the same procedure for this for this intersection point as well. Click on line, click on this intersection point, make a line of 78 mm. Then make the but make sure that the line passes this circle. Press escape. So one point is this and one point is this. So I will draw the arc between this intersection point and this intersection point. As the arc radius is given 410, let's write click on arc arrow, click on start in radius, click on this point, this is the start point, and click on this intersection point, this is the end point, enter radius 410 press enter now select these two lines and this line and this line and erase it now i will draw this arc so before making this arc first i will draw this arc so if we see here the degree between this line and this line is given 70 degree and the degree between this vertical line and this line is also given 14 degree if i subtract 14 from 90 it becomes 76 mm so the degree between this line and this horizontal line is 76 degree that's right then you guys will understand it clearly but first i will erase the ink to see the drawing clearly As I will draw this line and this line, one with a degree of 70 and the other one with a degree of 76. Let's write, click on line, click on the center point, make sure that this line passes these two circles. Press step for degree, enter 70 degree, press escape, then click on line, click on the center point, make sure that this line also passes these two circles. So press step for degree, enter degree 76. Press escape. Now I will draw arc between this intersection point and this intersection point. So the arc radius is also given 561.5. Let's draw it. Click on arc arrow, start in radius. Click on this point, this intersection point, and this intersection point. In the radius 561.5. Now select these two lines and erase it. Now I will draw this arc. So the radius of this arc is given 900. Let's draw it. Click on arc arrow. Click on start in radius. Now here I will show something very important. If I select the start point this and the end point this. So the arc will made in this direction. Escape. Again click on arc arrow. Start in radius. Now if I select this is the start point and this is the end point so the arc will made in this direction. Again escape so as we require the other type of arc click on arc arrow start in radius. Now click on this point which is the start point and click on this point which is the end point of the arc now into radius 900 mm. Select this line and erase this here. Double enter. Trim this one and escape. Also erase this circle and this circle. Now click on array arrow, click on polar and select this portion. Press enter. Now specify center point. Center point is this one. And as if we see here, so the blades are 6. And here already 6 is written. If you change it to 5, you can change it by clicking here and enter 5. Now press escape. So this drawing is exactly made according to this dimension. Now if you want to draw this circle, this circle, this circle, this line and this line with the line type of center. So let's write. Click on circle arrow center diameter. Make a circle of 8 to 0 mm diameter. Again click on circle. Make a circle of 308 mm diameter. Again click on circle arrow center diameter and make a circle of 658 mm diameter click on line and make a line press escape again click on line and make 
a vertical line a vertical press escape now click on by layer and uh, see here center line if you not see the center line then click on other click on load and load it from here so i has to load this center line click on ok click on ok now select these circles and lines that we draw and click on by layer then click on center so these lines and circles are changed to center line then click on mouse right side click on properties change the line type scale to 25 enter close it press escape now we have to transparent these circles and lines so select them click on properties arrow then drag this transparency towards right side then press escape so as you see here these lines and circles are transparent so the figure is exactly made according to this dimension thanks for watching if you're facing problem then comment below